Ready? We're ready. Okay. It is time to put this one to bed, people. The sugar in an apple is not the same as the sugar in a donut. I mean, why? Shoot, why am I, why am I still having to do this? If you know any juicy naysayers, if you are a juicy naysayer, please listen up and listen hard. And this won't take long to get rid of the sugar arguments. Now, after one of the biggest studies ever into sugar in particular, how fruit sugar and fructose affects blood sugar levels, diabetes and glycemic index, then we've even got scientific proof to back up what I've been saying for years. Sometimes it takes science a little bit longer to catch up on common sense. Do you know, years ago I wrote an article and it said the sugar in an apple is not the same as the sugar in a donut. And I remember vividly to this day, as I wrote the article, I thought, why am I writing the rest of the article? Isn't it obvious to everybody that the sugar in an apple is different to the sugar in a donut? But it turns out it isn't obvious. If you're looking for a common sense approach to looking at how the sugars are different, then the fridge test is a great one. Yes, the fridge test, ladies and gentlemen. If you said to a sugar head, I'm gonna take care of your food for five days, what would you like in your fridge? And they said, I just want sugar. And then you put nothing but fruits and vegetables in the fridge. And they thought, oh, it's good. I've got sugar, nothing but sugar in the fridge for five days. They open the fridge and they saw nothing but fruits and vegetables. They would say, where's the food? If you have a sugar craving for a Krispy Kreme donut, and I say, hey, listen, good news. I've got an apple on me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you now. Anybody who's really craving a Krispy Kreme donut, they will tell you in no uncertain terms where to go. Why? Because an apple will not satisfy their body's false need for white refined sugar because the sugar in a donut is not the same as the sugar in an apple. Otherwise the apple would satisfy them. No, am I missing, what am I missing here? Am I missing something? I'm unsure. And those arguing about, oh, juice diets have too much sugar in. I've seen people literally at the same time as having a juice thinking, I wish I could have a donut. So if all you're having is sugar, how would you have any other sugar cravings if the sugars are the same? How is it even? This is just common sense, but it's backed up by science now as well. You've got to understand this. It will come up on your screen because this is big news. A series of randomized controlled trials were carried out to examine the effects of 100% fruit juice, this is a fruit juice, on glucose insulin balance. The available randomized trials indicate the repeated intake of 100% fruit juice does not, have, does not have any significant effect on glycemic control or measures of insulin resistance. Overall, findings from the meta-analysis a randomized control uh, test suggests a neutral effect of 100% fruit juice on glycemic control. These findings are consistent uh, with uh, some observational studies suggesting the consumption of 100% fruit juice is not associated with increased risk of diabetes. It is not associated with increased risk of diabetes or, in fact, obesity. Look on your screen now. I know pretty well, right? This is Stephanie Neshek from the United States of America. So Stephanie wrote to me and said, let's give you a four-month update. She said, I did two months of juices. So she did super juice me twice. So she lived on nothing but fresh extracted juices for two months. Then she saw that I'd super blend me. So she went, I'm going to do two months of super blend me. At that time, she dropped 55 pounds. For those juicy friggin' naysayers out there that often say, oh, but when it's finished, this is very short term, because obviously for long term weight loss, it's absolutely useless. Have a look. This is 14 months. 14 months later, this is earlier this year, she's dropped 90 pounds and he's still rocking and rolling. And she's not just on juice anymore. She's eating healthily. I will tell you now with the sugar debate, the cause of obesity, why am I even saying this? Oh, it's just crazy, oh. I mean, I just don't, there's a huge part of me and I'm being friggin' serious now. I don't, even when we, we, we were coming to film this morning, and I'm telling you now, I don't understand why we've reached a stage in human development and everybody thinks that all sugars are the same. Some sugars are really bad. White refined sugar is really bad. We know this. We know that high fructose corn syrup, if you talk about fructose, you want to get, if you want the, the fructose enemy, I'm talking about freshly extracted fruits and vegetables and their juices and their smoothies. These are not the cause of the obesity epidemic in this country. The cause of the diabetes, the cause of the obesity is not Apple juice, is it? So let's go back to common sense. If you see a large person walking down the street or on a beat or they can't move or they've got type 2 diabetes or they're suffering from arthritis due to their weight for whatever reason, do you ever think, I know what's up with them? No question. You ask anybody, it's the carrot juice, isn't it? Always the carrot. Hello, <laughs> McFly! The Journal of Nutritional Science concludes 
that there is no evidence of any negative effect on blood sugar through juice fasting. The Journal of Nutritional Science. Is that good enough for you now? There's some science backed in. Share it with as many people as you can. I'm gonna jump on. I'm gonna look at some of your comments underneath. I'm gonna tell you now, once you apply common sense, backed up by science, it is very difficult then for anybody to argue that the sugar in an apple, apple juice, is the same as the sugar in a donut. Because I tell you now, they are not. Right, that's me done. Juice box. See you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, more of the same over here. Latest video over here. Don't forget to subscribe and to like. And please, share what you see.